Hey guys, so in this video we'll talk about how you can solve your basic everyday type equations using MATLAB. So in the previous videos I talked about how you can solve a system of equations in MATLAB, link in the description below so you can check it out. So this video is mainly about solving algebraic equations. So I've got four equations to my right as you can see and then we'll attempt to solve all of them using MATLAB. Alright, so we're going to start with x plus 6 equals 8 and then you can already say what is this i can calculate this in my head and i'll get two and that's good but my goal here is to start with something simple you know something that you can pretty much calculate in your head and then build on top of it so these equations will get harder as we go down the list all right so let's uh, start with the first equation so the way we're going to do this the, the, the way we're going to introduce this equation into matlab is we're going to tell MATLAB what x is, because it's not going to know. x here is a variable. So the way we're going to define this variable into MATLAB is we're going to say sims x. And then now MATLAB is going to treat x as a variable. Okay. And then you can use the solve command and then say solve open parentheses x plus 6. You know, just type in your equation and then double equal signs okay if you use one of them you're basically assigning a value into something you know with matlab syntax so it's always going to be double equal signs and then equals eight close your parentheses and then you should be getting two as you can see and the other thing is once you define your variable into matlab you know we we just told matlab what x was you don't need to keep defining it over and over again you know once matlab knows what x is you don't ever need to redefine it again all right, so for the second equation, we've got 2x, so that takes care of the first one. And then in the second equation, we've got 2x plus 6 equals 10, okay? So pretty much the same method, except the only thing I want to show you guys is you got to be precise with MATLAB. You can't just type in 2x. It's going to be 2 times x, okay? Just keep that in mind. That, and that's why I chose this equation here, so you can kind of get that. So 2 times x, 2x plus 6 equals 10. And then MATLAB is going to solve. And then again, we've got 2. Okay. And that takes care of the second equation right here. And then the third equation is pretty much a quadratic equation. Uh, you know, you can do factoring, you know, pretty much all the stuff you learned like in high school, middle school. Okay. So we can say solve open parentheses x squared and then plus three times x okay you can't just say 3x equals um, 18 close parentheses and then that's going to tell you x equals negative six and then x equals three okay and if you go back and plug these numbers into your equation you should be getting the same answer as the equal sign so in case you're going to be getting um, 18. all right so that takes care of the third equation and then the last one is actually a trigonometric equation okay and if you notice um um this time i'm just assigning a y variable instead of instead of x so we're going to go back to matlab and then we're going to define another variable so we're going to say sims and then this time we're going to say y and if you notice here matlab is going to input your variable into the system so you can kind of see it and then you can say two times oops you gotta say solve see so you're gonna say solve and then it's gonna be two times cosine of y and then that's gonna be equal to square root of two And then you get um, your answer is going to be x equals negative pi over 4 and then pi over 4. And here is the other thing. With this method, MATLAB is always going to try to give you exact answers. Okay. So if you want to know the approximate answer here, you know, you want to say what, what negative pi over 4 really is, you're going to use the double command. Okay. So you're going to say double and then answer. And then this is going to take your exact answer and pretty much give you like an approximation. So we've, you've got negative um, 0 0.7854 and then the negative uh, positive 0 0.7854 um, as your answer, as your approximate answer. And that.
pretty much takes care of everything as far as solving you know your basic everyday you know equations in MATLAB and the the, the other thing I was just going to point out um, again you have to be precise with MATLAB so if your x is a lowercase x and then you use like an uppercase x in your equation MATLAB is not going to like it you only define what X is okay. You didn't define the, uh, the 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 capital letter X. Okay, so if you whatever you input into the system is pretty much what you're going to get out of it. So over here, instead of saying X plus six, so I'm going to do solve, and then you know I only define what lower uh, case X was. So I can do. I'm just going to I'm just going to show you guys that it's not going to work with the with the um, uh, what do you call it the uppercase. So if I do solve uppercase x plus 6 equals to 8, MATLAB is not going to solve this, okay? And then it says unrecognized function or variable. Did you mean the, um, the, uh, the what do you call it, the lowercase x? And then if you hit enter, again, it tried to help us and it'll solve the problem. So just keep that one also in mind and then that pretty much wraps up solving, you know, regular everyday equations in MATLAB. And then please, if this video helped you, drop me a like. It's really going to help out my channel and then I'll catch up with you guys later. So peace.